In this video, we're gonna be using Heritage Hill Shave Company Washington and the Harry's Razor for a dome shave. Stay tuned. Hey there folks, and welcome back for another video. I'm your host, CDB. Thanks so much for joining me today. I really appreciate you joining me on this Independence Day today. So today, we're gonna to use a patriotic soap, and this is Heritage Hill Washington. Good old George Washington. They don't make them like George anymore, do they? Anyway. Beautiful scent on the soap. I absolutely love it. And scent strength, medium high. I'll show you the notes on the screen right there. We got tobacco bay, jasmine, sweet orange, patchouli. The orange really comes out. Uh, I think some of the tobacco bay comes out. The patchouli is on the backside, so don't worry about it being funky. It is not. And this comes to you at a very good price as well. This is $9.99, excuse me, $9.99 for three ounces or on a cost chart there, $3.33 an ounce. But they also sell a six ounce container for the same price of $3.33 an ounce, which I really, really like. And I wish more people would do that. Selling a large size and a small size at the same price per ounce. That is awesome. This is a really good uh, formula, in my opinion. I really enjoyed lathering it. It is a tallow soap. We'll put the ingredients for you right there on the screen. And again, I really like the soap. I've always liked the Heritage Hill soaps. They've been very quiet in 2021. I haven't heard anything from them since probably November of last year. And when I went to their website, everything was sold out. However, you can still get this on the Razor Company and I'll link it below. So I don't know if they're on hiatus or sabbatical or or what, but to Heritage Hill, if you're still out there, please comment below and let us know you're still uh, making soaps because this is a really nice soap and I look forward to using it today on Independence Day. We have a really nice lather whipped up in our Captain's Choice bowl. I'm gonna miss the dome here and get into the shave today. And happy Independence Day again to those of you who are in America. And if you're not in America, happy Independence Day anyway. <laughs> happy day to you. Hope your day is wonderful regardless of where you are. And as you can see here, no problems with the lather. The Heritage Hill soap is a good quality soap. And in fact, I wish we had more soaps like this, which have relatively straightforward ingredients but it lathers well and easily, and it comes to you at a very reasonable price. Um, so if Heritage Hill, like I, like I said, their website is up, but everything is sold out. So either they haven't made anything for a while, or maybe they've been selling a lot, I don't know, but they've been very quiet in, in 2021. Um, the last time I heard from them or seen them doing anything new, I talked to them around Thanksgiving week, Last year, I talked to one of the gentlemen on the phone. Really nice guy. Um, we talked about a little bit of everything. Uh, just seemed to be a super nice guy. But anyway, I hope they're still around and making soaps. Maybe they've just sold out. But um, no one's heard much from them this year. We haven't seen any new scents or anything. Um, I was really looking forward to some splashes, um, hopefully alcohol-based, in some of these scents. Because they have some good scents um, that I really enjoy. So anyway... We hope you're still around Heritage Hill. And uh, if I don't see a comment on this video or social media, then I will uh, maybe reach out and see what they're up to because it's, it's been a while. So hopefully they're okay and everything is as well. Okay, nice lather there. And one of the things I'll show you is see how much soap is left in the bottom there, in the middle. You don't need a ton of this because the consistency of this soap is pretty firm. You can press in, but it's firm, so it's not one of the soft, goopy uh, soap. So it's a really good value, I think. All right, let's get on with it with the Harry's, and the question will be, will we be annoyed today with the lubrication strip? Because <laughs> what happens is it tends to mix with my lather and little strings come off it. Generally, that's when it's new. Now, this blade here has had about three shaves on it so maybe it's to the point where it's kind of wore down now hopefully but what you know sometimes you've seen it i've demonstrated it and shown pictures of it where it just kind of leaves this trail of lubrication strip behind which is just slightly annoying it doesn't affect the shave in any way but it's just like what is this web you know it's like a spider spider web the Heritage Hill here is, is, again, good quality soap. Very decent soap, decent price, easy to work with, which I really appreciate. Um, so that's why I said before, I wish we had more soaps like this that were reasonably priced and who sold you 
a three ounce size and a six ounce size for the same reasonable price per ounce. Because what typically happens, and I know DK always says he doesn't <laughs> agree with me on this, but I've been around long enough to know. Typically, when artisans sell smaller sizes, they upcharge it, whether that be a sample or a smaller tub size. That has been the tradition. That is not always the case, but um, that's traditionally what they've done. And I think it's because, you know, they have to maintain another type of container and more space for the materials and, you know, different size labels perhaps. So that might, you know, cause them to need to recoup a little more in cost. I don't know. I'm just speculating. But traditionally, not in all cases, but traditionally they've charged more for smaller sizes. And so what I've always said is if you will give me or if you want to make available, let's say, a soap in a smaller size, at the same reasonable price, I'm for it. Um, if, however, you're going to upcharge me for the smaller size and increase the price per ounce, then I'm not. And so that's kind of where I stand on that issue. I do like these three ounce tubs from Heritage Hill. Really, really nice. And this is a good soap and it smells great. So I was, <laughs> you know, it's been a while since I've used Heritage Hill. And I thought today, Independence Day, is a great day to do that. Um, they do give part of the proceeds uh, to a charity. And again, I'll link, I'll link their website below. Although, like I said, they don't have anything for sale right now. It's all sold out. But I'll link that in case you want to check out the charity. I have mentioned it before, so you can go back and look at my other videos if you're interested in that part of things. Some people are, some people aren't, and that's okay. Let's work around the ear here. And again, being careful, you can see a little bit of that stickiness from the lubrication strip, but not a lot. It's been worn down fairly well at this point, so that's always good. But that nice smelling soap here. Good scent strength on it too. This is not one you're gonna have to work hard to smell. And again, you can still get this one at, um, at the razor company. I'm not sure whether they retail anywhere else. You know, you can check the other companies, but I did check specifically at the Razor Company because I knew they sold Heritage Hill. Um, so if you're interested, you can still get it. And uh, I hope they're still around because I was really looking forward to some splashes. <laughs> we talked a little bit about that right around Thanksgiving of uh, last year, 2020. So let us hope Heritage Hill's still hanging in there and that they're well. Maybe they've just been busy, um, but we hope to see them coming out with new scents and those splashes and whatever else they can bring to market because options are always a good thing. All right, so first pass. Very, very nice. So let's get a quick second pass in. Let's miss the dome first. Again, I hope you all are having a fantastic Sunday. I certainly plan to. Again, nice lather here. The uh, brush is the uh, West Coast Shaving. Synthetic brush, not much backbone at all. It is, some people would say floppy, but as I say so many times when I do these videos, and I like to use these brushes specifically for head shaving because even though they're 26 millimeters, they feel a lot bigger and they cover a lot of ground. So that's why you see them so often on my head shaving videos. Um, the need for backbone when making a lather is a myth. The need for backbone in making a lather is a myth. You do not need backbone to, to make a lather. You may prefer it, especially if you're lathering a triple milled soap, and that might make it easier to pick up soap off the puck if you load off the puck, but it is not essential. You can take even the hardest of soaps and cut a piece off, put it in the bowl. You can bloom it if you want, and you can lather it with a knot like this. Um, these synthetic knots will lather any soap regardless of how Hard. If the soap can be lathered, you can lather it with this brush. I assure you, because I have lathered many a soap <laughs> with this brush, all different types, hard, soft, medium. So these soft synthetic or floppy, if you want to call them, will still lather any soap if, you know, if you, uh, if you work at it. It might be a little bit easier to load if you have a more backbone um, from a hard soap. I, I certainly recognize that. But 
when I hear people say this won't make a lather and they're talking about uh, a brush, like it just won't create a lather, almost regardless of the brush, I'm like, I don't know about that, <laughs> you know, because you might have to bloom, you know, like I said, for me, I don't put moisture in my soaps, but I will scoop it out, put it in the Capture Choice bowl, and then put some warm water on top there. So if it's super hard and you want to do that to make it a little bit easier, there's no problem with that. That's not cheating. That's just uh, getting the best out of your products. And if you want to bloom your soap in the container, that is entirely up to you. If that is enjoyable for you, please, by all means, go for it. Do what's enjoyable. I will only tell you the things that, uh, well, I'll tell you a lot of things, but I will tell you how I'm doing things. That is not a prescriptive formula for you. It is not the only way to do things. It is just my way and it's the way that I find to be enjoyable. And if that's also enjoyable for you, fantastic, I'm happy. If you do something entirely different, fantastic too. As long as you're happy and enjoying your shaves, and spreading the good word of traditional shaving and being a good traditional shaving evangelist, then, then I am with you. Now, on the other hand, if you're constantly creating <laughs> problems and you know, tearing people down and, and generally not being fun and uh, just being a pain, then I'm probably not <laughs> so much with you because uh, we, we want this to be enjoyable. And when I say we, I mean you and I, because I'm sure you agree. You want this to be enjoyable. You don't want to be in a hobby where there's just people being mean-spirited and carrying on and so forth. You know, it does happen, but that's not the goal. And we shouldn't, uh, we shouldn't ever make that a regular occurrence, although you're going to have disagreements and that's okay. People's, people's passions sometimes flare up. We understand that. And some people just simply don't jive well with others. Personality styles conflict and, you know, it's just not a good fit. And that's okay, too. But you can go your separate ways and still remain uh, agreeable, you know, <laughs> I think. All right. Man, I love the scent of this soap. I think it's really, really good. Primarily, I get the sweet orange. But all the complimenting notes do their job very well. And there is zero funk in the patchouli in this soap. So if you're somebody who's sensitive about patchouli, and there are folks who are, have no fear. This is not one to worry about in terms of any sort of funk. This is not a funky soap by any stretch of the imagination. All right. Very, very nice so far. Sometimes people ask me why I rinse under the tap. And it's a couple of reasons. One, the force of the water you know, does a better job of rinsing. Whether it's a DE razor, whether it's a cartridge razor like I'm using today, the force of the water itself rinses it better, I think. And number two, when I'm rinsing under the tap, it's not allowing that soap to sit in there for very long and I'm not rinsing it in a, in a sink full of uh, soapy water and debris and so on from your beard. And um, I find that rinsing it actively under the tap, although it does waste a little water, so you know, be mindful of that. If you're trying to conserve water, it's probably not the best idea, but um, the rinsing keeps the razor cleaner. So at the end of my shave, the razor is cleaner because it's been rinsed thoroughly often, rather than rinsing in a with a bunch of scum and um, soap residue in a, in a container. But that's okay if you do it that way, I'm not, um, I'm not being critical. I'm just saying for me, um, it makes it easier post-shave for me to clean up this razor because really all I have to do is give it a good rinse and if there is any buildup of any kind, um, you know, I can use a soft br bristle toothbrush and some Dawn or the brush cleaner, PAA brush cleaner soap works well for cleaning razors and just lightly work that. But for me, rinsing um, actively during the shave in clean water is preferable to rinsing in uh, in water that has your stubble and everything else in it. That's just my preference. It doesn't, and again, that's not a prescriptive formula that I'm saying you must do this or you're wrong. That's not what we do here. You know, um, 
In terms of prescriptions or prescriptive formulas, the only one that I would ever say is, is absolutely the right way to do it is just trying to be decent. So there is a prescriptive formula on that. Be a decent person, you know, don't be a horse's rear. So that, that's something that, you know, I think we should all follow, including me. And as I say so many times when I make these videos, I haven't always done the, uh, the best job of meeting <laughs> that formula. I freely admit it. But now, and especially over the last year and a half, we have, I think, done the best videos that we've ever done and the, have put out the most positive content and have enjoyed ourselves the most. And I say enjoy ourselves because you too, you're part of it. And, you know, your comments below add to the enjoyment. You're part of the channel. And I really appreciate you. And so I hope you're having a heck of a good day today. And I plan to as well because I have had a phenomenal dome shave. Super nice. All right. Let me rinse. We'll come back get into the post. Stay tuned. All right, we are back in off cam. We did a rinse and then we toweled off with our Lancaster towel prior to applying the Thayer's Cucumber Watermelon Magic because it's made by witches. Tremendous shade today. Absolute level cue ball. Absolutely beautiful. Heritage Hill, Washington. Very good soap. Very good price. Uh, Heritage Hill. If you're out there, show us some signs of life. Comment below. Let us know you're still out there making soap. So I would love to to hear from you. I really enjoyed this. Still available at the Razor Company. And we got our boy George Washington there, one of the all-time greats. And we're going to pair him with another all-time great. I mean, what a pair this is. George Washington and Abraham Lincoln. You just can't beat that. <laughs> Exceptional gents. Uh, I'll start that in a minute. But I want to remind you, we used the Harry's razor today and got an excellent head shave, West Coast Shaving Synthetic Brush, Captain's Choice Copper Bowl, and We'll finish up with Strike Gold Shave Honest Abe, which is a phenomenal scent. Phenomenal gent, phenomenal scent. And we're going to splash this on and be smelling great. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> oh, man. This is, this is a crazy good scent. It's based on Ultra Zest, I believe. Let's, let's go another round. I got two today. It's, it's, it's Independence Day. Woo-hoo. In true American spirit, bold, bold. And that's, a, that's what this is. Oh man, I love it. <laughs> great, great stuff. I'm sorry, I'm overly excited today. Anyway, thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. I hope you have an excellent holiday if you're in the U.S. And if you're not in the U.S., I hope you have a beautiful day. Until next time, I've been your host, CDB, reminding you, it's your shave, do it your way. And as always, God bless.